Hey guys, how you doing? It's Ted here. Just wanted to do a quick video for a lot of the new Rivian owners. Some tips and tricks that I found helpful as I've owned the vehicle. So starting with the left scroll reel right over here. You can actually see on the left side of the driver's display, you can customize what you see. So if you hold down on the buttons, you can see an energy graph and you could scroll through and see your maps and scroll through again and you could see your TPMS. So if that's blank, just drive it around for a couple minutes and it will show you the tire pressures. Next thing I wanted to show you right over here, if you tap and hold, you can actually max out and kind of go whatever direction you're going. You can actually do that as well when you're going down. You could do the same thing for the temperature. So I find this pretty helpful if you want to quickly adjust if it's too hot in the car or whatever it is. Then right over here, uh, you can actually mute your music and unmute it and use a slider. And of course, the left side of the scroll wheel controls your volume um, and you can actually click to pause. So I found that extremely helpful. Then another thing with gear guard specifically, um, there's internal storage inside the, the, the central control unit here, but if you want to extract videos, uh, you definitely need something that's USB-C. I, I find it helpful just to buy a dual one so that you can uh, you have more kind of uh, flexibility depending on what you're plugging into. And those go right into the center right over here. Uh, another feature that I find pretty nifty is if you hop into the back and let's say you want to carry something you know kind of wide or you don't want something squished you can actually look at look at these hooks over here and unloop this so that you can still secure things uh, but have it not be as tight so I find that extremely helpful and if you have anything that you want to store under the vehicle, I find this bench to be incredibly useful. So it's great for things like umbrellas and stuff too. And in the rear bed, the, the manual function is pretty cool because you can stop it at any time for, for weird things like a bike or something. If you don't want it to fly around when you're driving, this can be held that way. So I'm hoping this video helps you guys and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.